Hi, my name's Tom. I'm an edit assistant and a graphic designer. I'm going to show you how to create a lightsaber effect in Adobe Photoshop. So here I have one that I made earlier. This is Darth Vader's red bladed lightsaber. In this tutorial, I'm actually going to make the green lightsaber that Luke Skywalker had for you Star Wars nerds out there. So I went on the internet and borrowed a handle picture. If you just type into Google lightsaber handle, you can find one. So now I'm going to create the basic shape of the lightsaber blade. So to do that, I'm going to use the rounded rectangle vector tool, which you can find on the left hand side of Photoshop in the tool palette there. If you come to the settings along the top, it might be set as the pen. But if you scroll across, you'll find the rounded rectangle tool there. Now, using this, you can change the radius of the rectangle. So if I draw one out, for example, there, you can see that the edges aren't very rounded. So if we change the radius to 40, and just experiment, you can see that we get a slightly better, more lightsaber-esque type shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my color to white, because we're on a black image. And I'm just going to draw a very basic lightsaber shaped blade. There we go. And now I'm going to place that underneath the handle layer to almost give it the effect that it's coming out of the handle. We'll sort that out properly later on. So, to in order to so in order to manipulate the lightsaber blade, I need to rasterize the shape. So to do that, you right-click on the vector shape that you've drawn here, like so, and then click Rasterize Layer. So once we've rasterized this shape here, we're going to make the outer glow that the lightsaber effect creates around the outside of this shape here. So in order to do that, we're going to go to Filter at the top of your Photoshop options here. We're going to go down to Blur, and we're going to Motion Blur. So the settings of this need to be at a 90 degree angle, so the blur is vertical. If there's any other way, it's just not going to work, it's not going to look as good. So if you set that to 90, and then the distance is entirely up to you. You can do a slightly bigger blur, slightly smaller blur. I'm going to set it around 60. Mm, maybe 70. Let's go with 70. So just hit OK there. So now as you can see there, we're getting more and more like a lightsaber-esque type blade. So if I right click on the shape, we can now select the blending options. Right. The blending option that we want to manipulate now is the outer glow. So if we select that, you can see now that we've got this sort of odd, uh, yellowy color. So if you click on the outer glow word, you'll bring up the new options. So for starters, we're going to change the color just so it's easiest to work with. We're going to change it to a green, obviously, because we're doing lights, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. You need to keep the blend mode at a, you need to keep the blend mode as the screen. Just bump the opacity up slightly so you can get more illusion of the blur. And then I'm just going to increase the size ever so slightly, so it gives you that more kind of vibrant vibe the lightsaber blade gives off. So it should look something along the lines of that. So as you can see here, we've got the basic outer glow setting. So what we're going to do now is just slightly manipulate the internal glow of our shape. So if I click on the inner glow option there, I've got my blend mode set to normal, opacity 100%. As you can see, if you move up and down, you can change the opacity of it. I'm actually going to choose to drop it to about, say, 70. The colour, green, is the same green as I had on the outer glow. 
with the technique at softer and the source on the edge, if we move the choke up and down, you can see that we just lose the white blade. So if we keep that at zero, but just adjust the size ever so slightly, we can make the white seem a little less harsh on the eye. Okay, so last but not least, we're just gonna adjust the shape of the blade just to make it a little, little bit more a little, little bit more lightsaber-esque. So to do that, I'm just going to shrink the height of it ever so slightly. So to do that, with my shape layer selected, I'm gonna use the transform tool. Shortcut to that is Apple or Control T, if you're using a PC. That'll select your shape there. And now I'm just gonna grab this handle and reduce it ever so slightly. Now if you stretch the end of the lightsaber, you'll make the edge slightly more rounded. So I'm just gonna make the handle a little bit more horizontal to the, to the actual lightsaber blade. So we've got a slight little bit of overlap there. What I'm gonna do now is zoom in on the handle area using Apple Plus or Control Plus if you're on a PC. With the Erase tool, which is E for, on, sorry, which is E on the keyboard as a shortcut, or looks like a rubber there on the palette tool. I'm just going to, with the right layer selected, not like I just did there, just gonna slowly remove the bottom part there. Just a slight overlap on the handle. And if you give, if you, Erase it just a little slightly. Just makes it that little bit better, just finishes it off. And there we have our very own Luke Skywalker lightsaber.